I thought I'd make an update from the garden. Uh, still growing like crazy. The uh, uh, wisteria is is uh, going to town, and I've got uh, quite a few new uh, whips coming out that I'm I'm weaving in across the the, the top to make um, a sturdy sturdy branch. I'm getting some weeds popping up here and there, and I've decided I'm going to test this uh, Roundup Precision Gel. It's like a, uh, you know, deodorant bottle for Roundup. You just kind of wipe it on, and it seems like it's a way that I can get in and uh, take out some of these weeds without uh, concern about uh, damaging damaging the plants that I care about. And I'll probably try it on this grass too if it if it works. Uh, I've got you know the lilacs uh, doing well, and this lilac, which I was very concerned about when it first got planted, it still has you know a bunch of these growths. Which some of them actually I can see this one here is just starting to open up a little bit. So that's that's good news. We're actually seeing some progress there. And down here at the bottom, we actually have some new growth coming out. And here as well. So, it seems like it's going to make a recovery. This other lilac, uh, I haven't seen any new growth really, except that I still have these, these little buds that I'm expecting something to happen with. And lastly, this little, uh, I think it's called the Tinkerbell, something like that. We're actually getting a little uh, flowers out. So we'll see. I, I've never seen a lilac that uh, blossoms in August, but perhaps this one does. Uh, going to the hydrangea. The hydrangea is getting a lot more pink. You can see, you can see uh, a lot of pink on these blossoms now. Here and here. Uh, everyone else is, is doing well. Uh, this weeping weeping pine I think this is all you know new since being planted we got a couple of these that are extremely long this this and I need to figure out kind of how I want to do the trimming on this I haven't quite figured it out because I want to get uh, uh, growth coming out of all the sides and I, I might actually you know wind up just taking this entire piece off and, and paring it down to, to just being a, a short tree and, and starting from scratch uh, but I probably won't do that till next year because I wanted to have the uh, green and the growth in order to get the roots going uh, because remember that right by the house this was all clay so the roots are going to have to take a, a considerable amount of work to get it themselves going. The uh, Succulents are, are in very good shape. See down here in the base, I've got a lot of a lot of growth there. Got kind of a miniature flower coming out here. This didn't go very well, but uh, this one's getting dried out. And same thing here. So I'll, I'll probably uh, go through and, and cut the flowers out. Uh, this one, this this uh, pink one, this was called I can't remember it was something something party. So this one's gonna have a big pink blossoms in in the next uh, week or so. And then this little carpeting, carpeting uh, succulent is uh, going to town and really spreading out. This plant, which you know, has been suggested as a weed, uh, these are all buds. And in the next week, these buds are all going to open up, and we should have uh, purple here, and I think they're pink or blue in in, in this bunch. Uh, and of course, the uh, the lawn has gone crazy. Uh, all the pl all the plants, the trees though, are, are in pretty good shape. Uh, they're getting kind of a daily misting about three times a day. Uh, this uh, maple's having a little bit of problem with the sun. It's supposed to not get quite as much direct sun as it is here. Uh, this maple though, look at that! I've got a bunch of new growth, so it's it's very healthy. 
The only tree that seems to still be having problems is this uh, Japanese uh, pepper, and I haven't seen any new growth on it, so we'll see. We'll see what comes out of that. And uh, the clematis are also having a, a very difficult time. I, I've lost this one. It's all all brown, and uh, this middle one also looks as though it's gone brown. And and lastly, this this one. This was the uh, the original clematis. This one had uh, it's been in the ground there for at least you know three four years. Uh, it's also gone brown. So I'm I'm hoping that this is just a sign of. Uh, dormancy uh, because they seem to be doing so well earlier in the year uh, same way the uh, the red twig dogwood is is, is uh, a little bit less than happy uh, I'm keeping it watered uh, I put mulch on it but uh, the quail have all thrown the mulch out so I'll uh, probably try to find mulch later and this little uh, strange plant, which I, again, I don't really know what it is. A lot of the leaves are starting to go yellow on it, but that could just be the time of year. Uh, not entirely certain. Uh, or, or perhaps I have to take an, them out of this uh, little nursery pot I made out of a, out of a milk container and, and uh, plant them into a, a deeper pot so they can get some more legs on them in the, in the roots. So that's that's the news from the garden.